guys welcome back to my youtube channel let me see me here hi my name is christine and thank you so much for clicking this video so <coughs> according to the topic down below guess i'm embarking on a different path and i would like to take you along with me because it's something that i've been searching for in the internet like someone who has done this program in kenya but okay i the first place I usually search for things is YouTube. I didn't find anyone on YouTube. So I was like, yeah, I really want to do this. And if I get a school that offers this type of program, I have to document it so that when someone else wants to, as in information is power. So I believe in sharing information and I find it a good thing in helping others. Yeah. So, um... Since after my high school, I was I was really really into nursing, but anyway, so I think my grades didn't allow me to get into the diploma state, and in Kenya there are only in came to see that is there are only three places that offer certificate in nursing, so I tried talking it out with my parents, but they were like, no. Oh, just start with diploma and then yeah so i ended up settling settling on a business course but now that i'm done with my diploma and my degree and then i really have a passion in working in the hospital like you see in when i was a small kid when we used to go to church during the lunch break because the host our church is a little bit near to the general hospital i find out that i really liked going there and just staring and just I just love the hospital environment yeah so i really lost hope in doing that so i just focused on my business course until i was done yeah i graduated yeah in november 26 2021 class of 2021 yeah so i got a job somewhere in october 2020 to somewhere in july june july yeah so during the corona season i also got a job i really loved that job because it's it's involved activities so yeah it was just a, a casual job like we used to go and situation is like there's a job like it was just a casual job like it involved a lot of activities yeah so I had fun with that. So after that, I came back to Nairobi. I was in Machakos with the other job. Then I came back to Nairobi. Coming back to Nairobi also, I had another job. Yeah, in October now. It was an office job. I came to realize that I'm not the type that likes sitting down and just working and getting supervised. And yeah, I really get bored. So I used to find that by the time I'm already done with my work, I don't have any other thing to do. Yeah. I don't have any other things to do. So I used to get bored. I used to crash with my boss because I used to, okay, if I don't have a job, then it creates room for me to do my own stuff. So yeah, so it's created a crash between me and my boss and I was like, no, this is not going to work for me. Let me just resign and go home and then look for something active. Yeah. So I resigned and came back home. So in July, I was just in those, yeah, I resigned in June 31st, yeah, June 31st. So in July, I was at home all through, so I had learned a skill. Um, like, before you, you, you resign uh, to a job, like, it was a, a really abrupt decision that I made. But according to a lot of people that I listen to and people who have, uh, resigned from their jobs they usually advise someone to save up for at least six months i had not saved anything like zero i just had my end month salary and that was it but then i was like ah there's no need of staying in a toxic situation just to have money like it was really draining me i would wake up early in the morning at six i would go sit at the toilet like thinking do i really have to do this do i really have to do this until eight in africa i go to work 
Now, for time it starts, like I used to get so much drained. Yeah. So after, and then the the kind of business that we used to do, I don't think it was my thing because I'm that kind-hearted person who is very who feels pity for people, and that was not my place. So I resigned. I came back at home. I learned a lot about freelancing and academic writing so that's what kept me busy all through and it's, it is what is keeping me busy up to date like it's something that i love because it's because i do different things and tasks each and every day so yeah i think i've just gone i've just mixed up things so how did i learn to this caregiving information yeah so as I was saying, how did I get this information on caregiving and all that stuff? So it started when I was still at work, my second job now. Yeah, my my boss's sister, who was my interviewer, um, used to tell his nephew that um, I already started this school. Um, I'm in a in attachment in such and such hospital. So I was like, which is this course that is taking only around six months? that involves hospital so i started searching i shied away from asking i mean if i asked earlier i would have started earlier but anyway everything is in god's timing so i started searching i didn't know the exact name so i started searching i couldn't find any information so i went back to nursing websites i could see that my grades were not legible for that for the course i didn't have the finances i didn't have yeah i didn't have the finances but i could still search on certificates but then i thought to myself how will i make money that fast and then when uh, uh, according to the videos that i used to watch on youtube nursing requires like 100 percent of your time like you have full-time classes you have yeah so i was like ah this is hard so i think that was around april so april may june then now the daughter comes she's the daughter of my interviewer she's doing the same course i'm shying away from asking her and yeah like if you know someone who has information please ask don't be like me like i think sometimes i feel like like i'm pressuring myself to know something yet i can just easily i can easily ask someone for help that has literally been my problem i don't ask I don't ask for help. Yeah, so I started searching, finding nothing. One, because I don't know the name of this program. So one day, one time, I found, just on, on Facebook, just scrolling and browsing through Facebook, I saw this program from this certain school. So the school was which is in First Star Africa. So I looked at them. Uh, the fee was kind of affordable, but... I was drawn back by the uniform, so I said, "I say, ah, you know, now this is where the the this is the advantage that I got. I got the name of the program, so I started searching for the schools that offer this program. So I got this. I think I'll put them on on the screen just somewhere. So I I, I got Brooklyn. These are the three that I can remember because I was interested in them. There was Brooklyn." I love this because of the uniform, but the fee, <laughs> the fee was not allowing me to go there. So there's Brooklyn, there's um, uh, Avenue Home Care, and then there's, which is the first up. So for me to settle on one particular school, I, I had to look at flexibility. I had to look at a lot of stuff. This thing is really disturbing me. I had to look at flexibility of the classes, affordability of the school fees, and the location. So since I'm in Thicker Road, I felt like maybe getting a school along Thicker Road would be much, much better for me in terms of fare and, yeah, the, tra the commuting, the yeah, need commuting from my place to school. Yeah. So I looked at Brooklyn. That was an X, although the uniform was beautiful, the ambience was beautiful, uh, the fee was too high for me. I, I felt like I couldn't afford that, and then their classes were not flexible. So 
I checked that form out. So after that, I went to Avenue Home Care. They gave me information, but they didn't give me full information. So that was also an X because customer service is very key in any business entity. So I ended up settling as a Jose Fusa. Yeah. This is because their fee was flexible and then you can pay in installments. Um, and they are also understanding because I, I really tried to explain for them my situation. They were so understanding. They were like, if you have the passion, you just come, we'll figure out the fee as long as you pay it before you go for attachment. So it was really, really flex flexible. It was flexible for me. Yeah. So I settled on the caregiving program. I told you the full sir. And yeah, I've not yet started my classes, but I'm so so excited because I'm starting my classes on Saturday, on Saturday, on the 11th of December. And I wouldn't mind to take you through the process, the classes, and everything else because I find it interesting to share this information because I really searched for this information on YouTube. Like, no Kenyan has done this. But I think through this platform, I can be able to help someone. Like, it's a course that anyone can do. As long as you've gone to a high school, maybe you scored a D and you don't have any other course, you can do the course as long as you have the passion. Yeah. So, that's what I'll be doing in the next few months. Yeah. So, I'm really, really excited to embark in this journey. Ah. I'm just so happy. I feel like ah, I'm just finding someone, something that I really, really loved and I was so passionate about because I trust and believe that I'm a good caregiver. Yeah. So, clicking onto this video and make sure you like, comment, and share. And if you want to go along with me <coughs> through this journey, because I know I'm pretty sure it will help someone. So feel free to subscribe because yeah. I'll just give free information on the journey and take you each and every step of the way. And yeah, I hope it's it will help you or help you help someone somewhere. Yeah, so I am very sure it will be a very exciting journey and I can't wait to share everything that I will be going through in the journey. So see you after my next, my first class. Yeah, so thank you so much. Bye.